You would expect the brand new host of NBC's Meet the Press would be a darling of the left-leaning media. NBC's chief White House correspondent, a frequent presence on MSNBC. And now the first black journalist and only the second woman to host the network's storied Sunday morning political talk show. And yet Kristen Welker and the show were mercilessly attacked this weekend from the left. The phrase boycott meet the press trended on Twitter, now known as X this weekend, unleashed by furious liberals. So what could this seemingly made for liberal news darling have done to incur that kind of wrath? Well, we've already given it away on the screen. She interviewed Donald Trump, of course. For days, NBC had Welker introducing short clips of the interview to preview the big get and sort of drips and drabs. The clips range from softballs like this one. I ask you a question. I don't think you've ever gotten this question, but it's been reported that you left a note for President Biden when you left office. It's true. It's true? Yeah. What Can you give us this little uh, sense of what you said? You know, it's interesting. He actually said it's up to me to do, and I actually think it's up to him to do. I left him a note. Uh, I think it was very... It was a nice note. I took a lot of time in thinking about it. Uh, I'd love him to do a great job, even if it was very bad politically. Biden himself described that note as shockingly gracious. And they also talked about tougher issues like his legal troubles. I want to ask you about the case related to Mar-a-Lago. A new charge suggests you asked a staffer to delete security camera footage so it wouldn't get into the hands of investigators. Did it's you do false. that? It's false. false. But let me tell you what Would you else. testify to that under sure. oath? I'm going to, I'll testify. You testify to that under oath? It's a okay. fake charge by this deranged lunatic uh, prosecutor who lost in the Supreme Court nine to nothing, and he tried to destroy lots of lives. Uh, he's a lunatic. So it's a fake charge. But more importantly, the tapes weren't deleted. I didn't even have to give them. Just so you understand, though, we didn't delete anything. Nothing was deleted. Now, a lot of news outlets picked up that part of the interview and those statements from Trump. It's some of his most in-depth comments about the classified documents case. And yet, as soon as the sit-down was announced, even before it aired, liberals were fuming. This was the end of Welker's career, apparently. Quote, nothing like kicking off your new political show with a man who attempted a coup and incited the January 6th attack. It's as if the corporate media wants fascism Plus, she will lose liberals forever. Lose liberals forever. Simply because she dared to interview the former president and current GOP frontrunner. Welker somehow betrayed liberals by even allowing the leader for the Republican presidential nomination to appear on this political talk show. Again, Kristen Welker's commentary here is classic pundit, both sides whitewashing of Trump's depravity. What a joke, as if Meet the Press wasn't on its last breath to pull this idiotic publicity stunt. Don't give them the ratings they desperately seek. Boycott, meet the press. Kristen Welker has given in and sold her soul to Donald Trump for ratings. She's jumped on the Trump train and will now be using her platform to confirm the lies of Trump and the GOP all for ratings. Chuck Todd was bad, but she's trashed. Look, you want to criticize the job she did as an interviewer? Okay. I thought it was fine. It wasn't great. It wasn't bad. But I'll tell you, it's a lot harder than you think to interview someone like Trump. Of course you have to do it. And it's insane, I believe, for liberals to be fuming about this kind of interview. Joining me now, Max Burns, Democratic strategist, contributor to The Hill and former Hill staffer. Max, thanks for coming on the program. Appreciate it. What am I getting wrong here? Well, I think the challenge here is, one, I don't think Meet the Press has that many liberals left to lose, to be honest with you. But the problem is not just Donald Trump's pace of lies, which is rampant. It's what those lies are directed towards, which is legitimizing fictions that Donald Trump is going to use to justify attacks on democracy. For example, the idea that because these people, as he says, tried to jail him, he has no choice, as he told Glenn Beck, but to jail Democrats. This is something that is not true, but he's going to use and Meet the Press giving him a platform to do that is, quite frankly, irresponsible. So, so to be clear, then, your position is that Meet the Press, a political talk show on a major broadcast network, should refuse to interview the frontrunner by far for the Republican 2024 nomination. 
Listen, flatly, nobody has a right to be interviewed. I'm and not you saying have a right. I'm asking you what they should do. Right? I'm not talking about some inherent right. I'm saying yeah. NBC claims to have a political talk show, right? And you're saying yeah. that they should not interview the Republican frontrunner for the 2024 election. No, what I'm saying is journalists have an obligation to pursue the truth and also to protect democracy from anti-democratic threat. Thank you for watching. Go to NewsNationNow.com to find NewsNation on your cable provider. And don't forget to click the red subscribe button below to get more of NewsNation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.